In this section, we're going to go over how to close a period in QuickBooks. And what we mean by closing a period is we are trying to stop people from making further entries to a period. Let's just say we issued final reports to management and we don't want these reports to be wrong. We do not want them to be anything but final. So you want to make sure that people do not make entries that change those numbers. And let's just say at the end of the year you have filed your taxes and you have filed them to the particular municipalities. You do not want to have anyone change those numbers so when you order it the tax authorities see different numbers. So a way to help ensure that these numbers aren't changed is to close the period and to do that in QuickBooks you would go to company and select set closing date and here you would see set date slash password you would select this and here is where we'd enter the closing date and this means that anything prior anything falling on this date and prior to this date will require a password to enter to ch make the changes and let's just say we want to make a closing date of March 2013 we will enter a password below and we would select OK now let's just see what will happen when we try to make an entry that will affect prior to March 31st. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to company and we're going to select make journal entries and we're going to select a date that falls prior to that period we are closing. Let's just say March 12th and we'll make our little entry and now let's just see what happens when we select save and close we will receive a message. This modification will affect transactions from closed periods and could also affect previous financial reports. You must enter the closing date password to make this change. And you must enter this password or you will not be able to make this entry. So this is how you create a closing date in QuickBooks to ensure that people do not make changes to the books when you do not want them to do so.